thevenin equivalent in two minutes. Say you connect a toaster between terminals A and B. You only care about the voltage and current that the toaster gets, regardless of what's happening elsewhere in the circuit. The thevenin equivalent represents any network as just a voltage source in series with resistor. The two setups are exactly equivalent with respect to terminals A and B, and the original circuit can be very complex. This would still hold. To find the thevenin voltage, we would calculate the open circuit voltage between the terminals. And the thevenin resistance would be this open circuit voltage divided by the short circuit current if the two terminals were to be joined with a wire. Say, for example, we want to find the thevenin equivalent of this setup over here. The thevenin equivalent with respect to terminals A and B. We would start by finding the open circuit voltage VAB, and that would be 32 volts in this circuit. We would then short the two terminals together and find this short circuit current, which will be 4 amperes. The quotient would be the resistance, 8 ohms. So, 32 volts and 8 ohms would give you the thevenin equivalent of this circuit with respect to terminals A and B. Now, you may be wondering, we're going to have to do circuit analysis anyway to find the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current, so why bother with this? The answer would be that you only have to do it once, and then you'll have this much simpler circuit to use for power calculations, for example, if you were to just change the load connected between the terminals. Say you want to find the power dissipated by a certain heater and compare it with a toaster, a lamp, or any other appliance. The bulk of the circuit remains the same, and you're only changing the load between the two terminals. So just find this thevenin equivalent once, and then you'll have a very easy circuit to analyze to find the power dissipated in all sorts of appliances.